Kia ora, a very active start to the week. We've had plenty of heavy rainfall in parts of the South Island. Strong winds as well, gusts around about 120 kilometers an hour in Roxburgh earlier this morning. And you can see these red crosses shown and the lightning strikes we've seen across parts of the region already today. And as we head through the rest of Monday, we'll carry on seeing this front moving northwards, bringing the risk of more thunderstorms across the North Island. And they will bring with them that risk of heavy rainfall, really strong gusty winds as well, obviously flashes of lightning and some really intense bursts of rain. Well worth keeping an eye on the forecast and also the rainfall radar as we head through the rest of Monday. But it is looking like an improving story on the South Island, but for the North Island, as we head through the afternoon, we'll find this wet weather crossing at Cook Strait around about lunchtime, running in towards those western sides of the North Island. Some heavy rainfall through there from places like Waikato, Waitomo, down towards Wellington, and even hanging on in those eastern parts of the Bay of Plenty right the way through into about midnight or so. Behind it, things are looking a little bit more settled, cooler, colder air back with us. You can see some snow from about the tops of the Southern Alps there. We'll still keep hold of some stronger winds down south as well. But I think some of the strongest winds today will be ahead of this front. You can see that northwesterly through there, those purple colors showing the strongest winds over the tops of the ranges, but even down towards places like Wellington, Wairapa, even towards parts of Hawke's Bay as we head in towards the early hours of Wednesday morning. So there's still plenty happening there. You can see that strong southerly skirt in the coast of Clutha and Southland as we head through the daytime on Tuesday as well. So it is a very active story. The combination of those stronger winds over the sea as well will also drive some rather large swells up the country, especially for that western side of New Zealand, as much as five to seven metres through there. So a very, very active story of weather. We've got thunderstorms, we've got strong winds, we've got heavy rainfall, we've got that high swell. Well worth keeping a close eye on the severe weather watches and winds across the country. We have got a fair number of them. In fact, I've broken them down into the different categories. So we'll start off by looking at those heavy rainfall warnings. Now the warnings themselves, place like the Tower Range and up towards Mount Taranaki. They're through to around about 7 p.m. today. We've also got the rest of those watches across the North Island, generally through the afternoon, evening time, clearing away from the eastern parts of the Bay of Plenty once we head to about midnight or so. We've just got the final couple of hours across those ranges of Westland just through the afternoon as we head in towards those early parts of the afternoon on Monday. Now, in terms of winds, we've got plenty of wind watches. Now, the ones around the likes of, say, Waikato, Waitomo, Taranaki, and the central high country will run through to about 6 p.m. on Monday. The last of those winds dying away through, uh, through Wairapa, sorry, dying away through Marlborough as we head through the early parts of the afternoon on Monday, while the winds will see through Wellington, Wairapa, and also central parts of Hawke's Bay and the Taro District through in towards Tuesday. And then those winds down in the south are picking up. And it's worth saying, as we see those winds picking up, they're also going to be bringing in some pretty cold air. So our daytime temperatures in places like Dunedin for Tuesday are going to be around about 12 degrees Celsius with the combination of those stronger winds as well, a significant wind chill, it's gonna feel very different to what we've been used to through the last couple of weeks or so. So a very windy and a cold day. For this afternoon though, one of the other things we're watching out for will be that risk of severe thunderstorms pretty much across the western side of the North Island, also parts of Wairapa, the Tauro district, and down towards the Marlborough Sounds as we go through the rest of today to about 6 p.m. on Monday. Now these are the areas most likely to see those severe thunderstorms, so the heaviest of the rainfall, those really intense bursts of rain, those squally, windy, gusty conditions as well. But we could well find some thunderstorms springing up towards the likes of, say, Auckland as we go through to around about that commuter time. So well worth keeping a close eye on the forecast and particularly that rainfall radar as we go through the rest of this afternoon. It is still looking pretty unsettled. The good news, once we get beyond Tuesday, things are looking much more settled across the country. Some drier, brighter, sunnier weather back with us. We're going to be finding a couple of cold nights in store, but things are set to improve. But to get there, we've got to get this afternoon out of the way. That's it from me, this is not metservice.com.